I just remember just wanting to be that that kid with with Harrison and and that sense of adventure and really just inspiring to make me want to go watch another movie. And to be a part of this now, like 40 years later, is quite surreal. It was just something we've never seen before. So here today, 42 years later, being part of it is just surreal. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Movie Podcast. My name is Shabazz and of course I'm joined by my fellow treasure hunter, Daniel. Daniel, how are you doing today? It belongs in a museum. Ah. Uh-huh. First of all, it's not for me. It's not for me to keep. I'm doing well, Shabazz. How about you? You know, I'm doing great. Most of uh, my ancestors' uh, stuff is in a museum, uh, the British Museum, most likely. So I know how that feels, and, and thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> You're welcome. I just wanted to, I just wanted to remind you. If Absolutely. you wanted to go look at it, you know where to go. Yeah, yeah. Things that I own, obviously. Uh, I feel like uh, Killmonger <laughs> right now. I'm going to break into some museum and be like, this is no. mine, actually. Well, it this doesn't sound my- like that, but yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, But I'm doing great, man. Thank you for asking. Uh, We've got uh, another great set of interviews here. We have some that, well, A, one of them is is a returning guest to the show. So that's always, always very exciting. That deserves fanfare on its own. Uh, The other is someone brand new to the show, and so is the other one. But one of them is someone that we've been wanting to talk to for so long. We've been so excited, and when the opportunity presented itself, we jumped right on it. We didn't even waste a second, and we're we're so excited we had the opportunity to speak with some of the cast of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. We had a chance to speak with Seanette Renee Wilson. Boyd Holbrook and the one and only Mads Mikkelsen. These are these are names you have definitely heard before because they've been popping up everywhere in what you've seen. So very very exciting time. They're a lot of fun. I mean, the, the one thing as we say with a lot of interviews that we do is that I just wish we had more time because I feel like there was so much to dive into, and especially you know Boyd, we got to talk to last year for Sandman, which he's so great in. And then in our interview last year, he was teasing. Indiana Jones, right? And he's saying, yeah, you know, I got to see about, you know, 30 minutes of it. It's going to blow people's minds. And now getting to kind of have that full circle moment with him. And then with Indiana, uh, sorry, with uh, Mads Mikkelsen, somebody who we have loved forever. He's just incredible in every single film that he's in. And I, I think that was just a huge huge opportunity for us and then with Seanette like I think Seanette's somebody that we weren't as familiar with we got to you know really meet her in this film we saw her in Black Panther before uh, and she's been popping up in a lot of different shows and films so uh, we had a great panel to talk to and I think you know like I said, we could have gone so much longer with them. We really could have. And if you ever want to know more about us, the best way to do that is following us on the movie podcast on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We have this amazing Discord channel as well that you can join. The links for everything are down below wherever you're watching us or listening to us as well. If you're watching us on YouTube, hi, hello. Uh, leave us a thumbs up and, and leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this movie, about the show, uh, about whatever. You know, we, we love hearing your conversations, but of course the discord is always popping. The conversation keeps going right in there. As Daniel always says, you're in the right place for movies. So stay here, right? Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Just want to make sure like it's stay here. Stick it, stick it and stay. Stick, stick it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the term. <laughs> stick it and stay. I'll stick take it. it and you know stay. what? It's, that's it's, the, that's it's, the fast it's, version. It's it's a it's an improvement, I think. Yeah. I think I hope. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man! Uh, of course, the Indiana Jones and Dial Destiny is exclusively in theaters as well. We also had a really fun contest that came out uh, that is over now. So if you won that contest, well, hey, congratulations! Because clearly, uh, yeah. you saw the movie, and we know you, we want to know what it. you think. Yeah. You know where to go. You, we That's, tell you where to go all the time. Absolutely. You can you can join these contests because we have them all the time. You get advanced screenings to films. Why not be that person in your friend group that gets to brag to everybody else about, hey, I've already seen this movie. You're old news. That's because oh. I'm assuming you're going to be catty about it. I don't know. That's that, that's that's what we that's why we have these giveaways. So you can yeah. be better brag. than other people. Yeah. yeah. Always no, about bragging. Brag. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. yeah. Of course, Indiana Jones and Destiny will be available in theaters June 30th. Thank you so much, Disney, for these interviews and for letting us watch this movie. Without further ado, let's kick it over to our interview with Seanette Renee Wilson, Boyd Holbrook, and of course, Mads Mikkelsen. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? Doing well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We are well. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us today on the movie podcast. It is so great to have Indiana Jones back in the world. And we have to ask each of you, what did it mean for you to join the series? And what is your all-time favorite 
Indiana Jones moment, and we'd love to start with Matt's. Uh, Raiders, the first film, just blew me away. Never seen anything like it. I remember my brother and I, we rented it, and we had this like a little movie box where you, you rent the machine as well. We had five films. So we started out with that one, and we watched that five times. We didn't watch the other films. Uh, <laughs> it was just something we've never seen before. So here today, 42 years later, being part of it is just surreal. I love that. Shana, how about for yourself? Oh, you have to echo it, it is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, I'm watching with my big brother and and just seeing this uh, wonderfully a complex character just be so fun and alive and adventurous and the wonderful stunts. It was just incredible feat for that time, well before I was uh, introduced into the world. But it was lovely to to be introduced to that and to to be part of it um, in, in in its finality and to to send off this character. Um, it, it's just wonderful. And Boyd, how about you? Yeah, for me, I think I was around six or seven when the second film came out. So that was my first, ex I think, true memory of watching a movie of when they were in a plane and then the, the raft inflates in the air and it lands on the mountain. And I just remember just wanting to be that, that kid with, with Harrison and, and that sense of adventure and really just inspiring to make me want to go watch another movie. And to be a part of this now, like 40 years later, is quite surreal. And um, it's, a, it's just a, a big check on the box of, uh, <laughs> of what you're doing in this, in this world of the acting game and, yeah, where it goes. That's incredible. Yeah. Now, Mads, you, you played some of the greatest antagonists in film. And I think back to your performance as a chief in Casino Royale, a film that we go back to constantly. Um, have all of those characters kind of prepared you to become the ultimate villain in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? No, I mean, it's, it's in a story somehow. There's only that much you can do with, with a part that like, differs from the story. So you've got to lean into that. This guy is so Many people tell me he's a Nazi, I guess, uh, <laughs> a misunderstand person. I mean, you have to, you have to obviously, sorry about that. You have to obviously find what drives him, right? And so um, his strange way of seeing the world and strange way of making the world a better place is you, you just have to, you have, you have to buy it and, and, and go there. And, and then uh, eventually the, the script would do its part, but I just have to defend to a degree what he's up to. I agree. That's very true. Now, Boyd, we, we spoke to you briefly last year about Indiana Jones, and it's, it's very full circle that now that it's coming out. You're re-teaming with James Mangold. What do you love working with him most as a director? Oh, my God. I think we all could talk about how amazing Jim is. And I don't think I, it's, I do. I think my best work with Jim, there's, there's moments that you can create in the moment because he is – I've never met anyone more passionate – about everything going on in that frame from composition to a, a diphthong vowel change to make a line land better it there's just not just going to work and uh, what we'll see what happens it's like the true intent of striving for excellence and i know that there wasn't going to be another indiana jones after this and just the sort of grandiose bottlenecking of everything coming together and uh, having that experience with him before, I knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And so I ran straight towards it. Definitely, yeah. And, and it shows. I think I really hope that we get to see more collaborations between the two of you because I think you work uh, incredibly well together. Yeah, me too. Seanette, what are you most excited for audiences uh, and your friends and family to see in this movie? My Afro. <laughs> it's great by the way it's a great outfit <laughs> great style in this film I mean, yeah. the, the the costume design um was in, in hair and the makeup were really inspired by pam greer so just like homage to her and and to, to everything that. she stood for in the 60s and 70s so yeah <laughs> thank you all so much for your time you know you you're all so great in this film we're so excited for everyone to be able to check it out and uh, we cannot wait to see what all of you get to work on next thank you so much thank you have a good one and we're back. What a what what a great conversation we got to have. I'm so glad we got to talk to Mads about Casino Royale and him playing the Schieffer because that is a performance that I think on a daily we either talk about, reference, or just clearly idolize. Uh, what Daniel, a what suave, you? suave man he oh, is. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he made he made uh, being a Nazi seem cool, right? Oh no, man, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not no, at all. No, 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 that's not good. Don't don't clip not this good. part of the video. Useful no. context. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, please. No, no, no. Uh, no, he he looked he, he looked great. I mean, the whole all of them looked great, and yeah. they all look great in this film, and they all bring such great performances, obviously, to the characters that they that they always like show up for. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course, our review for the movie is out as well, so make sure you're checking that out too. It's available on all podcast services, on YouTube, wherever you can hear our voices. I promise you, you can hear that review as well. Join our Discord as well. We'll be having a spoiler room open for the movie for probably about a week or two for the for the film's release, just so people can talk about it, kind of voice their opinions. Let us let us know what you think about the film as well. Again, huge shout out to Disney for allowing us these interviews and a chance to watch the film. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny will be available exclusively in theaters June 30th. Uh, so if you do watch it, let us know what you think. Again, that was This Time with the Movie Podcast. We'll see you next.